Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be building a Bluetooth speaker with this STEM kit. The link to the kit is in the description. When we open up the kit, we'll find the instructions, the wood encasing panels, a left speaker, a right speaker, the battery pack, the Bluetooth connection board with the ports to plug in the speakers and the battery, an on off switch, another connector, and a bag of screws. Now these are the parts for the case that we're going to mount all the parts to. Um, they have to be put together in a very specific way. You'll also need a Phillips head screwdriver, which is not included in the kit. I'm gonna move on to customizing this case a bit. I'm using my Montana black spray paint. I can never leave anything just plain wood. So we're gonna pick out some cool colors and make this thing shine. So I'm choosing black and we're just gonna give this a nice coat of black paint here. I love the sound of spray paint. Bam! Boom. And let's do some pink. We'll do some pink here. All right, we have our panels painted. We just need our four AA batteries to make this thing work and we are ready to roll. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the bottom panel and we're gonna mount the blue chip circuit board onto that bottom panel. We wanna make sure that it's oriented the correct way Make sure to look at the instructions because instructions have a pretty good image of how things are supposed to be oriented. But basically there's two slots at the top, three slots at the bottom. And we're just gonna screw this in with the long screws. Now we're gonna take this connector and mount this to the battery port. So that's the red port on the board. So this part right here is pretty much done. We're now gonna work on the back panel and we're mounting the battery pack to the back panel and we're using the short screws to mount the battery pack. What we wanna do is we wanna make sure we thread these wires through so the wires are on the inside and not coming out of the outside. And we're just gonna screw that battery pack into that panel. Now we're going to mount the left and right speakers and we're going to use the short screws. We want to make sure that the paint is facing the front. So we're going to mount the speakers on the back with the wires at the bottom. And so we're just going to take those screws and screw in the speakers. So as I'm screwing in these screws, I'm just going to give a quick review of this kit. Uh, one thing I don't like off the bat was the casing that we are mounting this to. The material is very unforgiving, and I found that as I was screwing screws in or trying to snap things together, that some of the wood would chip off, and then I have to take it apart and put it back together, and it just wouldn't go together very easily. So that's just something to take note of. The speakers are mounted to the front panel. The wires are facing down. We're now going to work on the sides. Um, we need to make sure everything's oriented the right way and the right pieces are going on the right side. So we just snap these into the slots. Then we're gonna take our back piece with the battery pack that's mounted on it and we're gonna mount that and we're gonna snap those right in. Then we're gonna take our bottom piece with the circuit board mounted to it and we're gonna plug in the speaker wires to the white terminals on the circuit board. Then we're gonna take our top piece and thread our switch through that hole at the top and make sure the wires are pointing towards the inside of the device. And then we're gonna plug one side of the battery pack into the switch and we'll plug this other side in there as well. And then we're gonna mount this piece and snap that into place. So 
So once everything's snapped in place, we're going to want to tighten some things up. I'm putting in the other screw, screw for this battery pack. I'm just tightening around all the edges, make sure everything's snapped in. Looks good. The switch works. We're going to put our batteries in now. Give it some power. All right, we're rolling. Everything's working as it should. Now what we do is we're just going to take the remaining long screws and make sure everything's secured and put together. So as I'm putting this together, I just want to speak a little bit on the parts to this kit. Now the speakers and possibly the wires and the board aren't the best of quality. So you put this together and though it works, it's not meant for long-term use. After a few plays, I heard the speakers kind of giving out and things like that. So this kit is mostly made just for learning how to put this together. And eventually, you know, hopefully you'll want to buy some quality parts and make it even more custom to how you want it to be. So that would be the next level to this. But all in all, I think it's a great little kit and I enjoyed putting this together.